Um, I, I've got to confess that internationalism isn't a topic which I have thought about a great deal in the last um, 39 and a half years. Well, no, the last maybe 20 years, I think. The world changed dramatically with the end of the, uh, the Cold War. And thinking sort of around that hinge point, think 20 years on approximately now uh, and 20 years back, I was thinking about Syria and thinking about Vietnam and thinking about different reactions that one has to those conflicts. How do you think about those in a um, sense with consistent values, with um, some sort of feeling that you are thinking about the, the same world? I think that in 1973, um, internationalism and the solidarity that was at the core of internationalism and is at the core of it, it was more political than it is today. It thought more about power. I think it was less widespread than it is today. I think there were fewer people who were acting on it. Uh, for example, the way that people um, give money to good causes in countries far away that they have never heard of today um, uh, is, is unprecedented. But with that, it was also perhaps uh, or perhaps it has become shallower today. I think today it's more about people. And in 1973, it was more about parties and positions and aspirations. So in an odd way, I think that internationalism today is more complicated by being less abstract. I can so easily remember the way in which one took positions for the fighting people of Vietnam. What did you actually mean? You actually meant you were aligning yourself with a political party in Vietnam and with its positions as you understood them, actually on a fairly shallow basis of understanding, but a deep basis in terms of your, your passion and your commitment about it. I also think about internationalism and solidarity. The word intervention keeps on coming up in my mind. Um, the idea of interventionism, you know, I first came across the word intervention, it was a, a book entitled Intervention by Richard J. Barnett, who's one of the founders of an American left-wing think tank called the Institute for Policy Studies. And intervention was a bad thing. And it went from being a bad thing because it was done by the US and there was a thing called interventionism. And in fact, intervention was simply the polite word used in those American circles instead of imperialism. Uh, it went from being a bad thing to being a good thing when it was in the hands of Robin Cook and Václav Havel and so on in the late 1990s, and the bad thing almost the day after when it got into the hands of Tony Blair. <laughs> so what, what, is this, what is this intervention? What is our right to be taking positions and to be acting on those positions? What are the, what's the self-control, what's the self-reflection that we need as a part of being internationalists if we want to act uh, in the name of that internationalism? And then the third set of thoughts I've had about this, thinking about this recently, is to do with something, I mean, like I said, you know, I, I feel that internationalism today when people express it is less abstract. But there's another side as well where I think that internationalism has become professionalized. There were a lot of kind of pretty amateurish organizations around doing this, that, and the other with cow, gum, and whatever it was. Um, and now, you know, I mean, International, International Alert has just issued these babes as standard mm. to uh, senior management who need to be in contact with each other in case a crisis arises in one of the 20 countries in which we are working. And I think this is, is good management and is taking care of our people, our staff and our partner organizations and so on. But I kind of regret, I think it's a shame that solidarity is being professionalized. And I am probably, as the head of a small NGO, um, working in 20 countries on issues of peace, I'm probably as much a part of that professionalization as anybody is. And I see lots of good sides to it. You know, if you give us a lot of money, you can be confident that it's going to be used under strict controls and in the best way. Nothing is going to be lost. There's nothing shambolic or amateurish, but there is something of the spirit which gets lost with that. I, I'm as much a part of it as anybody, but I would love to find a way out which protected the best part of those professional standards, but captured something of that kind of cockeyed 
Latrasset spirit of 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. okay.